When we first met, I was 17 and you were the cooler, older camp guy that everybody thought was super fun, a little intimidating, extremely attractive, myself included. <laughs> the thought of being with you crossed my mind plenty of times, but always in a fantastical, too good to be true kind of way. So I adjusted my teenage expectations and made a new goal of at the very least being your friend. Over the next few years, you showed up for me time and time again when I needed it most. Never in a million years did I think I'd be standing at this altar with you today. I wish I could tell my 17 year old self that it's all gonna be okay. You get the guy, you get Matt Kolb. Our friendship is our foundation, but look at how much more we've become. You are the best guy. <laughs> you are the person I want to spend every moment of every day with, simply because I enjoy your company that much. I love you, I always have. We've grown up together and now I can't wait to grow old together. On behalf of Amy and Matt, I welcome all of you to this place and to this moment as Matt and Amy express their love for each other and their desire to live from this day as husband and wife. They are delighted that you are here and what an incredible day. You are their friends and family, the ones they love and your presence here demonstrates your friendship and your love. to our favorite coffee shop to study, do homework, and most importantly, plan out our lives together. We talked about how we would make sure that we did all the big things together, like live in the same place, have kids at the same time, have houses next door to each other. I envision your love as a strong tree with a wide canopy that we can all fit within. Roots spreading deep and wide in friendship and joy. Leaves reaching ever higher for new adventures and experiences. Being a part of your initial friendship and watching you two grow on your own and together, it's natural you've chosen each other for the rest of your lives together. As a kid, he had the most fantastically curly hair. Just so luxurious. He was a hilarious storyteller, still is, but he would mispronounce words once he found out how cute everyone thought it was and just drove that into the ground. Helicopter, Florida, duh. come on. For five years, I knew you as a good friend. Then we finally figured it out. <laughs> and I spent four years calling you my girlfriend. I've now spent over a year calling you my fiance. I can't explain how excited I am to spend the rest of my life calling you my wife. You are, without a doubt, the best thing that has ever been. I 
am David Shimon, and I am the very happy and very proud father of the bride, Amy. You woke up today as Amy Shimon, and now you are officially Amy Cole. How about that? Congratulations, Matt. Good catch. And it is with great joy and thanksgiving all around to Dan and Liz Cole and family. To my family, Nancy, me, Sandy, on the marriage of these two fine young people. Let's give it up one more time. Good. I had met a few times, but there's one night where I feel like I finally got to meet Matt and Amy. That night, I came back to my parents' place around 11 o'clock to find the house entirely pitch black. I wasn't sure what I was walking into, but I'm greeted by Matt and Amy with flashlights. Turns out, I caught them in the middle of their patented game, Hide and Go Drink. Amy and I have been there for just about every big moment in each other's lives and getting to be your Mads of Honor has been the absolute greatest for me. So here's to Matt and Amy. I love you so much and I can't wait to watch you guys play life together. <laughs> Dan and I landed last night. What a gift, what a blessing to marry your best friend. So with that, let's raise a glass and let's toast to Amy and Matt Kolb, to the adventures that are ahead, and I am sure the best is yet to come.